sixth grade, module six, lesson one, problem set. For each of the following, determine whether the question is a statistical question. Give a reason for your answer. So remember, a statistical question is a question that has multiple data points or one that can be determined by collecting different points of data, like different numbers or different categories, like colors or um, any other category that you can think of. So for A, how many letters are in my last name? So this is not a statistical question because there's only one answer to that question. Like for example, there are five letters in my last name and so that's the answer is just five. So this is not a statistical question because it only has one data point. How many letters are in the last names of my students in the sixth grade class? So this would be, so this is a way to turn the last one into a statistic, the last question into a statistical question. So this is gonna have multiple points of data where you're gonna be able to go around your class and someone might have five letters, someone might have seven letters in the last name, someone else might have eight, someone else might have four. So there are gonna be different answers to that question that you can collect. Yes, multiple points of data. You'd say multiple points of data to be collected. C, what are the colors of the shoes worn by students in my class? So this is also going to be a yes, because some people might be wearing black, some people might have white, some people might have green, blue, but there's not just one answer. It's not saying what color shoes am I wearing, where it would only have one answer, it has multiple answers. D, what is the maximum number of feet that roller coasters drop during a ride? So the maximum number of feet that roller coasters drop during a ride um, could be a statistical question because it's answered by collecting um, a variety of roller coasters. So it's not just saying what's the maximum number of feet that um, a certain roller coaster drops, it's asking about all of them. So yes, because all of them will have different answers. So some might drop 80 feet and some might drop 200 feet. What are the heart rates of students in the sixth grade class? So yes, again, this is going to be a statistical question because everyone's can be different. So mine might be, my heart rate may be 87, someone else's might be 100. F, how many hours of sleep per night do the sixth graders usually get when they have school the next day? So this is also a statistical question because everyone's answer could be different. So another statistical question. You know, someone might sleep eight hours, someone else might sleep six hours on average, someone else might be 10 hours. Everyone's gonna have a different data point. And G, how many miles per gallon do compact cars get? Okay, well there are different types of compact cars and they don't all get the same amount of uh, miles per gallon. So yes, because some compact cars might get 26 miles per gallon, some might get 25 miles per gallon, or it depends like, is it a hybrid car? Is it an electric car? Is it a gas car? We don't know. So let's see, huh? Yes, because it's gonna have multiple data points. All right, number two, identify each of the following sets as categorical or numerical. Explain your answer. Okay, so categorical meaning that 
it's a category like colors or shapes or um, different thing like animals some category numerical is a number so the it's going to be answered in numbers so arm spans of 12 sixth graders so the arm span is measured in length so usually probably measured in inches so this is going to be numerical because it's measured in inches and inches would be a number so someone's might be like 18 or 25 but they're going to be in numbers. Number of languages spoken by each of 20 adults. Well, they kind of told us right here. It's going to be numerical because it's the number of languages is obviously numerical. Favorite sport of each person in a group of 20 adults. So sports as in basketball, football, um, cheerleading, something like that. So that is going to be categorical because it falls into a category like soccer, hockey. Number of pets for each of 43rd graders. So again, that's numerical because we're finding the number of pets. It's going to be a number, like two, three, four. Number of hours a week spent reading a book. So again, it says number. So number of hours is numerical because it's asking for a number. All right, number three. Rewrite each of the following questions as a statistical question. So how many pets does your teacher have? So that is not statistical because it only has one answer. Like if I was your teacher, I would say I have one pet. So that there's just one answer. But you could say, what is the typical number of pets of the teachers at my school? And that would be, you would have to go around and collect multiple points of data and there's not just one answer. So I'll write them out here. Um, we could change that. How many pets do teachers in our school have? All right, B, how many points did the high school soccer team score in its last game? So that's just one game, but we could expand that and make it a st statistical question by asking how many points did the high school soccer team score in all the games that season? Or what's the typical number of points? Typical number of points scored by the soccer team this season. C, how many pages are in our math book? So there's just one answer because you probably only have one math book. So if we wanted to expand that, we could ask about what's the typical number of pages for books in the school library. So expand it to all of the books. What is the typical number of pages for the books in the school library? And D, can I do a handstand? So that's just a yes or no answer. You're not gonna have more than one data point. We could say, can most sixth graders do a handstand? Or can most of my friends do a handstand? Or something like that. So 
So those are just ways you could have different questions than these, but those are just different ways that we could make those particular questions into statistical questions. Number four, write a statistical question that would be answered by collecting data from the sixth graders in your class. So this could be anything. Um, you could ask, what's the typical number of pets? What is um, everyone's favorite color in the class? What, um, anything, really. How many, what's the typical number of sports each person plays in the class? How many hours of video games does everyone play at night? Things like that. So I'm gonna say, what is the typical amount of sports these sixth graders play. All right, number five. Are the data you would collect to answer the question you wrote in problem two categorical or numerical? Explain. So since I'm asking about the amount, I'm not asking what sports they played, I'm asking how many they play, so this is going to be numerical. So we want to know number of sports played by each student. 